Hi, Joe Glavin with Philadelphia Floor. The National Wood Floor Association and the Philadelphia Floor Store hosted a seminar on finish application and color. Jason Elquist of Blackhawk Floors led the presentation on a variety of finish applications and coloring of hardwood floors. In this segment, we will be focusing on the unique use of steel wool as a coloring technique for hardwood floors. This is steel wool and straight vinegar. It's soaked for three days. It did change color. If you soak it overnight, which is usually what I do, and I usually just get the packs, if you have some steel wool pads or something, throw them in there. Three aught steel wool tends to work the best, just what I've seen. Usually let it sit overnight, it's still even as clear the next day. This has actually changed colors a little bit. Definitely need to strain it, because the steel wool particles will break down, so you want to strain it. And I would strain it a couple of times. Gives you that gray aged look. Does anybody believe that vinegar and steel wool will change the color of a floor? Okay, so if you are doing something like that, this is basically um, what, you, what we used to use before some of these reactive stains. So if you had a beveled edge floor and wanted to create a French bleed, you could go through with a solution like this and essentially paint it on all the seams, come back and scrape or smooth everything um, off or sand off all the color that you don't want on the face, which is the same way we do a lot of our hand scraped French bleed floors where we go through and the floor is already hand scraped. We go through and add this solution to the floor, wipe it on. Um, it's going to turn charcoal black and or charcoal gray. And then it's, uh, we scrape off what we don't want to have on the floor. So you leave, um, it's kind of like that reverse painting where you scrape off what you want to see the image of. That's pretty much what this is. I've never used a paint sprayer for it, but I'm sure you could. Um, I would probably use a T-bar after the fact to kind of just smooth everything out. But essentially what you want to do is just get everything colored. Um, you can leave heavy spots on this. So you just want to have pretty consistent color on everything. I use a T-bar, but you could use a mop. We just use a T-bar to smooth it out. Yeah, you just want a nice consistent color. Now, could you do the same with this? Uh, you probably could. I've never done it. This goes on so fast that we just usually do it all by hand. <laughs> and that's it. We'll let that do its thing. It'll change. It's the board. The solution we used here is iron acetate, the result of mixing white vinegar and steel wool. This same solution can be achieved by mixing nuts and bolts or nails with vinegar. The solution works best on white oak. The varying extratives in white oak, such as tannin, enhance the charcoal color of the reaction. Like many reactive solutions for coloring wood, the mechanic is largely dependent on the species and how much extrative is available for the reaction to occur. Floor stained in this manner should be coated with a solvent-based finish such as de-wax shellac, oil-modified urethane, or a conversion varnish. To learn more about the seminars available from the National Wood Floor Association and those hosted by the Philadelphia Floor Store, go to phillyfloor.com.